I just want to piss some feet a little bit. I, I got to be honest on this one, man, as I have been already, but I'm going to be a little bit more forth coming for myself. Because sometimes you got to tell truth about yourself, man. Um, the realization that I'm not stuck here. Because for a very, very long time, man, I just regretted my existence here. Especially with a uh, full moon tonight. That's wonderful because... I don't know if I really said that shit out loud. With the intent of letting go of it. God damn it. Um, so, yeah. Usually when I spoke about my existence on this planet, man, it was filled with regret, uh, shame, hate, like, why the fuck am I here, man, like, why am I still here, not like here, but why am I like still here, still here, y'all was asking why I was still here when I was in my early 20s, my nigga, yo, I was so ready to go, <laughs> like, before I even knew about astral traveling and all this and that man and you know the 13 and christ consciousness and know thyself in that man i was ready to go i was ready to go dog i was just like yo i was like man whatever this shit is bro i don't i i, I can't i can't be here i gotta be somewhere else man i don't want to be here And I did a lot to get off of this planet, my nigga. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say that. I did a lot to get out of here. <laughs> I tried my thing, <laughs> nigga. As much as, as much as I could go, as far as I could go, I went to get out of here. And it showed, it showed a lot. Um, and that's one of the blessings. It's definitely a blessing, man. Cause I didn't at that time. I, I was just scared, man. I was scared. I was really scared. I was afraid of a lot of shit. I had a lot of fear, a lot of trauma pent up, man. So the shit uh, flowed out into my relationships, my friendships, uh, text messages, calls, uh, job choices, friend choices, everything. And I just hated being here. Shit just didn't seem right. <laughs> I was like, shit wasn't right and shit wasn't working. But it was working in a sense of I was enjoying the fuck out of so many things, especially myself. But there was still like, dog, I don't, why am I, what am I actually here for? And I'm telling you, man, that going within is real because I'm pretty sure you was like me at that time. Man. Like we we all share like those similar, those similar stories, man, where you just like, bro, I know I'm not supposed to be here so I can fucking work at Arby's, my nigga. Like, dog, I nigga, <laughs> nigga. Look. I was like, dog, 
I know I'm not supposed to be here doing this. I get that when I'll be working at them, uh, working at those uh, warehouses. You know what I'm saying? It'd be two in the morning, the horn go off, and it's time to go eat lunch. And you know what I'm saying? I'm eating by myself outside at like 2.30 in the fucking morning. And I'm just like, like I would remember just sitting and just looking up. It's just being like, am I going to die anytime soon so I can leave? <laughs> I'm so for, yo, I'm so for real. And not like, not like I should just kill myself. I'm just like, maybe there's an accident coming and I'll just be able to just roll up out of here. No harm, no foul. Just hit by a bus back then. Like, I envision uh, dying a lot. And which makes a lot of sense, man, because many of my past, like, all my, many of my past lives, man, I was killed off. So, like, that, that was something I struggled with a lot. A lot, man. A lot. Like, I, I always wanted to die. And I always thought about death. I always thought about dying, being killed. I always thought about someone around the corner. Um, even, even as a youngin, I, I, it was like I was waiting on someone to come get me or someone to come around the corner with a knife. Um, shit, man. Even when I hold, like, I was killed with a knife in one of my past lives. And that awareness, those dreams help me realize why I shiver when I hold a knife. <laughs> I shiver when I hold a knife. Like I, I I like I'm good with cutting, you know what I'm saying? But it's like and also uh when I hold a knife too long, it feels like a movie. I put it down. Man, there are times when I had a big knife in my hand and I'd hold it. And then I just hold it a little bit longer than, you know, we're going to do something with it, like cut a carrot. Like I just, Hold that shit. I just be like, you know, I make that face. I'd have that that feeling, that emotion of what it feels like to hold a knife again. Like there's a and also being a warrior back then, I did a lot with that knife. which really bleeds into the whole, like, I was, I was scared of weapons. Like, I still haven't held a gun yet. I don't think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my stepdad had two guns. That, yeah. But other than that, not a weapons guy. I always wanted to be, but just didn't know why I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. Just wouldn't do it. I would not do it. Yeah. Thank you. Like, I would not do it. I wouldn't pick up a knife. I wouldn't pick up a gun. Uh, especially, um, like, after graduation. But shit, as a kid, middle school, high school, I slept with a knife under my pillow for years. Um I don't know. I just always had a feeling that there was somebody I needed to kill. I mean, Nick, come on. Like, I just always felt like I needed to defend myself. It's like uh, whoever's going to come in the middle of the night and I got to be ready. 
for whatever. And that fear, that fear uh, manifested itself into the real world. Um, I'm pretty sure I conjured up a couple enemies around the way. Um, I'm pretty sure I attracted energy towards me to get me out of those, to get me, to get me from that. Um, of course, shouts to my mom for finding the knife under my pillow and asking me why. And I'm pretty sure we gave a terrible lie. Uh, and I think after then, I started carrying a uh, pocket knife with me. Hmm. And then, of course, you know, as you get older, the cutting and all that other stuff with the knife, I would only use a knife. But yeah, man, just certain stuff like that. Um, and that cleared up so much shit, man. Cleared up so much shit. Like, ah, damn. That's why I was on that shit. Yeesh. <laughs> you know, and then what it what it does, it 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 brought in peace help me activate more peace and let go of the stress that somebody is trying to kill me somebody's trying to take me out somebody's trying to take me down man those feelings uh have been there but it's 11 o'clock so it's about that time we got a shower coming up. Meditate. Got some shit we can let go. You know? Well, actually, this is letting go. Like me talking to the microphone, speaking, speak the truth, get it out there. Because there are many attributes about yourself that aren't just from this time you know and there's so many programmed phrases that we have in our minds and i'm pretty sure i've said a whole bunch of them just like that i'm pretty sure it's like i'm pretty sure are you pretty sure or do you know it's like that's some shit my dad would say <laughs> That's the shit I would say. You pretty sure or do you know? Not on, and like I said, just another one of those, not trying to be on no tough shit, just being like, hey, I've been through what you've been through. And I've said that. I've said that. I've heard other people say that. And now that I have some understanding, I'd like to let you know about it. How that shit be going, Libra? Oof. Libra, Aries, Virgo, I tell you, bro. But, uh, and that's why you connect you connect with you you ask you ask and i'll be asked i'll be like yo what's up hey uh what is required to make it through this week what is required to excel this week what is required to blow the roof off this motherfucker this week like what what what, what books am i gonna read or um so i gotta so sometimes i scale it back and just be like um i ain't i ain't i ain't been on this intuition as much and i can tell so uh with some things around me to heighten my alertness or with some things to let go of so we can clear up some space so things can move you know what i'm saying because that's the thing it's like on a computer like <sighs> the concept is like you're clearing out the space so you can download some more right 
but it's like a download. It's like you're going to another source to download it to you. It's like, hi. But you're cleaning the registry. You're cleaning that conscious mind. You're cleaning those judgments. You're cleaning that bullshit up out of there. So what's already in there has more room to shine. That's wild. I literally cried like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Needed that though. Shouts, 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 shouts. Shouts to that brand new energy, man, because hey. But this is what it's for. Like this is what those times are for. You know what I'm saying? These are these are like full moon of cancer, right? But see, I mean, I ain't gonna go too far into it. I mean, you can look up what you need to look up. I mean, you already have or will or going to or whichever. I mean, cancer, right? What do you think of cancer? Cancer has a has a vibration to it, a judgmental vibration to it. Cancer in the body. Well, I was like, everybody has cancer inside of them. The fact that we only take that the program was to only take it for a disease. And, you know, a time to let go of disease. Wow. Now, you know what also is wild? Like, it's the fact that um, this snowstorm, ice storm came through on the Martin Luther King Jr. birthday holiday as well as Aaliyah's birthday. Wow, that's a lot. That's some good, that's some energy. Mm. And then... Mm. Well, that's brief. And shouts to all the music we connected to today. Um, I'm going to say bye, so we can do this five for five. So the next video will actually be some breathing. But that's before we even leave. I, you know what? Fuck that, man. I'm talking. Goddamn. Um, this, is, this is great. This is one, this is one of the ways it's used for. Speak your truth, write your truth, express your truth. You're expressing it in some way. This is my, this is my form of expression. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's pretty much like a sigil. I mean, we got pictures, we got sound. Um, I'm speaking my truth, boom. Like I can feel the vibrations and it's out there. And it's not like, I mean, I, I'm not gonna go back and watch this. I don't think, I don't. I only really watch the ones that, um, that I'm interviewing someone. If I'm with somebody, I go back and watch so I can write the notes and do, all, uh, do that. And, you know what I'm saying? We can re re reclaim some time with that. But just by myself, I don't watch these. Not at all. 10 minute, 20, 20 minute um, breathing, um, tutorial, whatever. I, I don't go back and watch that shit. For what? I've already said it. So it's definitely a, a, a way for me to not 
say something and then go back and be like, did I say it right? Or I don't want to put that out there. And it's like, we trusted source before we came up here. You know, to God is be the glory. So I ain't sweating for what? Shit. The first one who ever tried to kill my character was me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, come on. So I, I, I ain't tripping. Like, like, man. I saw something earlier and I think it was about President Illuminati or something. Um, what is it? The um the face scan, you know, is it real or not, or is it computer generated? And, you know, the next stuff down there. I was just like, I really used to give a fuck, man. I was really and then I then we stopped right there. Because we all used to give a fuck in some sort of fashion. You know, from the days of watching can Scooby Doo and be like, no, oh, man, there's something else out there, right? It's like, hey guys, there's something going on. It's not what we see. We need to go investigate. All right, so it's like, yeah, man, I'm out. I'm off that so much. It's just like. Although I do, you know, shout out to the folks who still be doing that shit because it is definitely a, uh, it's definitely a way out. Like the right shit click for you. Oh yeah, you gonna get out. Cause one of the best things about going through uh, conspiracy theories and government conspiracy theories and cities and states and, you know, uh, you know, all that. And over there is over here and, Old Kingdom, New World, Jesus down in Peru, Memphis, and the Holy Land, and Chicago, and Florida, and I mean, all of that shit. And uh, so, just going through that, be like, at a certain point, it has to be reciprocated. And for me, my reciprocation, like, I need to feel that joy. It was kind of the same thing with sports. It was like, I'm putting a lot into this, but I'm not getting it back. I remember one day I asked myself, why the fuck am I a fan? I was like, I don't go to games. I don't spend money to go to games. I don't go here. I don't go there. Like, I'm a fan from afar. And I always wondered how that was possible for me. And then once, you know, you get down in that chart, man, you're like, oh, I am a homebody, so I'm a homebody when it comes to other things as well. It's like, hey, you want to go to a game? I'm like, eh, I can stay here. Also, I must have experiences to be able to prove it to myself, which is going from a believer to a knower, you know, age of Pisces into Aquarius. Um, and just going from that, oh, I could, I, believe, I could have a good time from here. I don't have to go experience it to actually have that. Um, because some of the experiences before were uh, tapered. Um, many of the times I was afraid to be myself. Um, I remember going with many games with people when I was myself. I wasn't accepted in sorts in many, in many ways. So that was always a trick for me because I can really uh, enjoy myself as a Libra, find enjoyment, really excited about shit. And it doesn't matter if you're excited, like it's an inside job. Now I didn't know that before, but it's an inside job. So I can work this shit myself. Like, like the, it can be tight around here. All I need to do is play some music in my head. Huh? 
Oh, shit's fucked up right here? I wouldn't notice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot, I got a lot going on in this, in this old thing right here. So, hmm. Yeah, just being able to be myself in different different spaces. Um, and then getting to the spot now is just being like, no, just be yourself. That's it. That's it. You be yourself. You ask to attract those who are on your path, on your journey. Um, that'll help you keep those vibes high. You know what I'm saying? And attract those who, whatever you are, you are in your low times, you have the alerts within. You want to attract the energy. Not the people. The energy. You know? Because anybody can come. And those types of people are also an archetype from from which we were uh, viewing shit. So, you know, saying even when you're talking about spiritual people, you just you may just be talking about spiritual people that you like. And fuck it, if that's the way you want to go, say that. You just gotta accept it when it gets there, you know. Like, you ask for spiritual people, the next thing you know, you got somebody spiritual, but you can't fuck with them <laughs> at all. Because you asked for something spiritual and, and 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 spirit was like, all right, let's build. We 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 need to destroy some shit this time around. So we're gonna bring somebody spiritual, it's gonna help you destroy shit teach you how to destroy some shit so you can rebuild. <laughs> oh man, what a time. What a time. It's great to uh it's great to talk. Man, it's been a while since I've just been over here and just talk. It's been like a day, a day and a half and Telling you, man. And especially with the full moon coming through, man, it's just been like, yo. And the snow, and then like kids out of school, so that you know changes up the, the changes up the texture just a little bit. Changes up the changes up shit just a little bit to where it's like, okay. We adjust, and it's an inside game. It's an inside game. So you say, no matter what, whether the kids are here, there, you know what I'm saying? Even if they hear with, you know, um, COVID protocols and classes being shut down and shit like that, it'd be like, you know what? We're going to have a dope ass time. We're going to connect like a motherfucker should. And we're gonna find, and I'm gonna have ways of maneuvering. Especially with the kids, man, they 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 fine. As far as they know how to have fun, they you definitely ain't gotta tell them that. So, what a time! What a time, Brandy. The energy of Brandy, Rihanna, Norwood. February 11, 1979. Full Moon album, March 5th, 2002. 228, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 8, 12, 1 and 2 is 3. Mm. So much. So much. So um I'm excited. I'm excited of well, what I'm excited for the things that's 
already been released. And also I'm excited for the things that she is it's gonna come up as soon as we do this meditation. So yeah, come up as soon as we go and uh, take a shower. Like there's gonna be some shit to come up for that. Like, oh all right. Let me write that down. Or oh yeah, now we don't have to we don't have to think that way anymore. Like that thought process doesn't have to happen anymore. Well, I don't have to make that choice. That choice that I thought I had to make, that's not a have to anymore. <gasps> but you know how much a blessing that is? Oh, you know how much a blessing it is to be like, I do not have to make that choice, that decision. I do not have to feel that anymore. No, I don't have to stay in that anymore. Now, the feeling may arise for a trigger, you know what I'm saying, so you can prove to yourself that you are who you are, shit like that, or so you can level up to the next spot, next spot, next spot, next spot, however, and I got, you know, inverse. So, ain't even gonna fly. Let's breathe. Let me get this breathing in. Then we're gonna be out. We got some goddesses, we got some energies, you know what I'm saying? So, it's gonna be a beautiful night. Full moon, we're gonna go outside gonna put some water out there even though it's gonna freeze <laughs> hmm. you know what has anyone ever made glass ice trays Mm. Um, that's how it's going to end. <laughs>